the 2020 Steve Prescott Man of Steel, Castleford Tigers, Paul McShane. How does that sound? Oh, man, it's crazy. I'm pretty speechless at the minute. Um, just really honoured to, to get this award and to, to have people like Ellery and other legends of the game holding me in this, this regard. Um, I'm honoured. You follow in some incredible footsteps, Ellery being perhaps the, the standout of all of those, a three-time winner of this award. At the Castleford Tigers now, you become the fifth winner of this award. That club has not done too badly in recent years when it comes to lifting the Man of Steel trophy. No, mate, it don't. And I think it just, it probably credit to the, the coaches and, and the club as a, as a whole, you know, the, the push to get the best out of the players and like you say, to have so many winners in a team like, like us this year, we, we probably struggle for results. And um, yeah, mate, I'm speechless at the minute. <laughs> I, can, I can hear it in your voice. I'm minded of a meeting we had, I think it was back in 2014 over at Salford. It was a Super League launch or a playoff launch. And you were at a bit of a crossroads in your career. I think you were about to join Wakefield, maybe. You've gone around the houses to get to this spot, really, Paul, haven't you? Found your found your home eventually now at the Castleford Tigers. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Um, coming through as a kid, I, I was at Leeds. I was playing for the club that I supported, and obviously um, my time were up there and got released. And I had to find my own path and what sort of player I needed to be. And I went to Wakefield, and at Wakefield, I didn't know if we were struggling as a team. I didn't know if I was going to stay full time rugby or not. And then Castleford gave me an opportunity to to join their team and, and speaking to Pauli, I think it was five years ago now, um, he just gave me confidence in my ability and I wanted to make sure that I give everything that I could for that club for giving me another opportunity. There are going to be people watching this that had an incredible impact on your career at a very early age, your family, your friends, your junior coaches. At times like this, while it's very special for you, it's also a really, really important and memorable moment for them too, Paul. Yeah, mate, hundred um, percent. Especially your family. Tell me, mate. <laughs> yeah, just t take a moment to reflect and, and, and maybe tell me what it feels, you know, on behalf of your family, on behalf of those junior coaches. Um, just a big thanks to them, really. Um, they give up their time and efforts in me as a kid from six year old at Unslip Parkside until I left at sixteen. Uh, my, my parents, my mum going to every every game, uh, and my, my wife, she's been on this journey since I was 15, so 16 years later, to, to get this, mate. You're getting me here. We've got to try and compose ourselves. We're, we're, we're nearly at the very end, but has been a very entertaining and long Super League Awards show, but I want you to savour this moment as well. Daryl Powell has said you can only get better as a player. If your career is on an upward trajectory, and this would, the, the winning of this award would suggest that it is, where does Paul McShane want to take his playing career? I want to win some at Wicass. Um, really desperate to do that, but I also want to play for my country. Um, it's something that I haven't, I haven't done just yet, and it's something that I really... I'm really passionate about and really want to do. Well, many a good judge would say that you've got to be knocking on the door of, of international honours. What would your message be to Coach Sean Wayne? Um, I think it's down, down to me, really. I just need to keep, keep performing and, and hopefully I can push my way into his plans. Um, we've had a couple of conversations and, and speaking with him. He, he, he buzzes me up with how he talks and how, how passionately he is about England. So... For me, I think it's just down to me. Like I'm looking forward to next year already. Um, I still feel like I'm going to improve, so I think it's down to me to, to get myself in there. Against all odds, the Castleford Tigers. When I say that, it's probably financial odds and uh, and size of the of the area that the club is based in. They, they achieve well above their weight. I mean, this honour, I suppose, is not just for you and for your teammates. It's for this club that continues to battle with the bigger boys, the so-called bigger boys of the Super League. Yeah, mate, and I, I owe a lot of this to them. Um, like I say, five years ago when I joined, I didn't know where, what I wanted to be. And from day one, the players, the staff, um, even board members and fans, they just want, want the best out here. And 
we've, we've really missed probably playing in front of us fans this year and they play a big part for us. Um, so, yeah, it's a massive thank you to, to everyone involved at CAS. I'll, I'll say it again as we'll say goodbye to you. Uh, the fifth winner of the, <laughs> bet, or the uh, should say, the uh, Steve Prescott Man of Steel Award following Luke Gale, Daryl Clark, Rangy Chase and Adrian Vells. Just once more, Paul McShane, if you would sum up now, you've had a little bit more time to compose yourself. Yeah. How that title rests on those broad shoulders of yours? Oh, mate, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to to get home to my wife and kids and give them a big kiss and love and say thank you. Well, on behalf of everybody, congratulations and thank you to all, and to all the players of Super League for what you've done this year. You do recognise the contribution you've made to everybody's life. I'm sure that you do know you've made everybody's life that little bit brighter by, by getting back out on the field in such trying times. Yep. Cheers, pal.